a while since I posted a video, nearly a week in fact, I've been a little bit out of the loop sorting out some stuff and attending some gaming events, most notably EGX up in Birmingham where I met quite a few cool people and a lot of fans as well, so if I saw you there, well it was good to meet you. Overall it was really awesome, but I am now back and of course I've got to catch up with what's going on on the battlefield. Something that really caught my attention, like pretty hard on the CTE today, was a change I read about in a design state a couple of weeks ago on Reddit, and that's the skill metric for your player in the game. In the screenshot there, you can see the current way a player's skill is calculated in Battlefield 4, a rather nondescript three-digit number that doesn't really offer you any way of letting you know how to improve that number. Of course, we all know the more XP you score in game, the more medkits you drop, the more ammo you drop, the more people you kill, as opposed to how many times you die, all contributes. But still, grouping all of that into a number is then very difficult to break down. The new system was decided on by one of the Dysolay developers, and they've implemented it into the CTE version of Battlelog to let people test it out and see how it works. Now, this is a treat for you guys, because you're going to get a small insight into the world of Westie's stats, which have been questioned in the past actually by some rather obnoxious 12 year olds on Battlelog, saying they wouldn't take tips from anyone with a KD less than 1.5. How fickle the community can be. But besides that, here we go. First up, you'll notice that large number has gone, and it's been replaced by a spider shape diagram showing your new skill metric, your playstyle. In the top right hand corner of the box you can see four icons, one for each of the four classes. At the moment we're looking at the assault graph, with each of the others showing the five vital stats that contribute to your player skill. There is no overall score anymore, at all. Instead the graph represents how skillful a player is by how far the polygon on the graph stretches to the edge. And as you can see from assault, I'm a pretty accomplished medic. The graphic is showing a maximum level for revives, heals and score per minute, with most likely the heals and the revives being the reason for the score per minute being so high. My rifle kills per minute and accuracy are overall lower than that. I'm not the best player in the world by any stretch of the imagination, but what this graph now shows in comparison to the number in vanilla Battlefield 4 is that as an assault player, I help out my team by dropping medkits and throwing out revives all over the place. Moving on to Engineer, which I'll admit is not a class I play all that much, we have kills per minute again but specific to the Engineer, with Repairs, AT Soldier, AA Soldier and Score per Minute as our five metrics for skill. As you can see from the much smaller polygon here, I'm not much use as an Engineer, as I said I don't really use it that much. Score per minute is pretty high though, so likely when I'm playing on a map that requires me to run as Engineer, if there's lots of vehicles going around like Goldmud Railway for example, it's probably because I'm using a PDW or Carbine to take out infantry. Next is Support, and the five metrics here again, we have Score per minute, Kills per minute, along with Resupplies, Mortar Bombardier, and Machine Gun Kills per minute. It's nice to see again my usefulness as a support player dropping that ammo is shown off in the graph extending further here than on any other point, but overall I don't really see why we have kills per minute and then machine gun kills per minute. I know you could argue the two values would be different and then they are, my graph shows that, but why have two metrics that feel so similar? As this is CTE, this is my piece of feedback just remove one of the two, preferably the machine gun kills per minute. That gets rid of the stigma that's crept into the battlefield community over the last couple of years that kill to death stats are the only ones that matter, which is completely incorrect. And finally, the recon. And this is probably what I'm most proud of. Look at that headshot metric, fully maxed out. It proves I am a good sniper. And so for all those haters on my best sniper video that I did a few months back on the M98B saying my sniping wasn't that great, well, suck on that. <laughs> it surprised me though that my motion ball spots are virtually non-existent. I'm pretty sure that's not right because my standard recon gadget setup, and this is the one that I run the majority of the time, is motion balls and C4 both on the CTE and the Battlefield 4 vanilla client as well. 
So those four graphs at the moment show just how diverse your player style can be. And, well, you can tell what kind of players you're going to be going up against, whether they're on the same team or whether they're not. I mean, it is a little bit of an arduous process to come out of game, go onto battle log, find the soldier, and then look at their stats. That's if they've even got them publicly enabled. But at least from my own perspective, I can sort of gather a lot more insight into what kind of player I am by those graphs. It shows it off a lot better than just numbers. Because I don't really use the leaderboards function that much in Battlefield 4 either. So seeing those graphs straight up front is a really good improvement, I think. If you do have CTE access, I highly suggest you go and have a look at your own statistics and see whether you think there's any improvements that could be made to the design overall. Now, one thing that I would like to mention today, I'm going to make a bit of an announcement here because it's something that if you watch my videos regularly, you will likely notice this. For October, only at this moment, I've partnered with Alienware. They'll be sponsoring five of my videos throughout the month, and I'll be doing some social media posting too for them as part of the deal. Now, none of my content will be any different to what it is right now. I'll still be posting my normal Battlefield content for you. One of the videos will be an unboxing slash review of the Alienware 15 laptop, which was given to me as part of the deal to keep, and the way that you'll know a video is sponsored will be by a short pre-roll of the Alienware brand before the video starts, a call out at the end of the video, and sponsored links and language in the description. I thought I'd be fully honest and upfront with you here, as I know a lot of dealings on YouTube can go unnoticed by viewers, and I wouldn't want that for you. And sometimes YouTubers are exposed for hiding deals with brands. I'm not like that anyway, you know me, I'm sarcastically British as they come, and I don't want to deceive you at all. I hope you can understand why this is a big deal for me, and if you do, I truly appreciate your continued support. But thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one today. Leave me some comments down below about what you think of the new skill system Dice Layer trialing. I think it could really work out very well. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.